Good to meet you here. A senior feral tomcat with tattered ears was struggling on the streets of Fort Smith, Virginia. Tom Tom had lived a hard life, but when he hid near a home, he caught the eye of a house cat named Envy. Then Envy alerted his mom, Katie Sims. She went to see what Envy's odd behavior was about and saw Tom Tom. They locked eyes and she knew she wanted to help him if she could. The way Tom Tom looked at me, I just knew that he was asking for my help, she said. Tom Tom was as feral as they come, running to hide when she tried to get closer. But she started talking to him, telling him she wanted to be his friend. This cat, possibly around 15, may have been someone's pet once, but winning over a longtime feral cat can be dangerous, if not impossible. They may never learn to trust humans at all, but she knew this cat needed her help, and fast. As a move to Virginia Beach was in the cards in, a, in several months, if she left, who would help this cat? She worked at a veterinary clinic and knew the doctors would, could help him. I can't leave without getting him to the vet, Katie said. To win him over, she left food and a little shelter outside and continued talking to him reassuringly. That's when she tried a humane trap, loaned to her by a shelter, but this cat was streetwise. Nope, he wouldn't go in that trap. So what do you do at that point? For Katie, she decided to take a risky leap of faith and her home became the trap. She left the back door open and placed food on the floor while she hid behind the door. This time, the cat fell for it and came inside, and she closed the door. Now, a feral cat was in her kitchen. The food was gone, and he was horrified. Katie was scared, too. He bolted to escape, but couldn't get out the window and hid in a bedroom closet. I must tell myself he can feel that nervous energy. So don't give him that nervous energy. Just have confidence, she said. She found one rescue willing to help her. The rescuer managed to catch Tom Tom and take him to the vet, where they discovered he was in worse shape than expected. This tough senior was contending with a host of problems, severe ear mites, but also he had high blood pressure, a broken tail, diabetes, liver disease, a heart murmur, kidney stones, and bad teeth. After the vet initially suggested euthanasia, everyone was amazed at his recovery. Imagine how he must have suffered on the streets for years, but finally he had the care he needed and a safe home to recover in. However, he was still quite ferocious. Could he learn to trust his new mom? Safe inside with plenty to eat, a warm, soft bed and time to heal, the tomcat made a dramatic transformation. It took several months, but Katie eventually melted his heart. I think of him as this grumpy old grandpa kind of a cat that just has his walls up. And you just have to keep pushing them down, Katie said. Many times he retreated to his safe place, a crate, where he could remain by himself. Although he never really liked to be held, he loved being petted. And even more amazing, he became the sweetest grandpa to foster kittens in the home. He was part of the family and won over a family of fans on social media. Overall, he's becoming a softy, Katie said. After his health eventually declined, Grandpa Tom Tom perched in a window on a cat tree and remained there. He gently crossed Rainbow Bridge on December 8, 2023, knowing what it meant to be loved and cherished. And his stories going from, going from feral to family continues to inspire people worldwide. And I'm so happy for him that he found a home. Cooper Marchie here. Ciao.